Hello everyone, my name is Elena Bloom and today I have for you a webinar Future of Bitcoin. The world is changing rapidly, so don't miss out your opportunities. What would you learn in webinar? What is cryptocurrencies? What is Bitcoin and where it came from? Why some governments and banks are afraid of Bitcoin? What is Bitcoin ATM? How much Bitcoin would worth in 5 to 10 years? How to invest in Bitcoins? How to achieve your plans and dreams faster? Look, I can't predict the exact price of crypto coins or what exactly will happen in the future. But in this webinar, I will tell you how don't miss out your, the global changes and how benefit from it. So please open your mind and enjoy a webinar. What is cryptocurrency and who created it? Just a few people know that cryptocurrencies emerged as a side product of another invention. Satoshi Nakamoto, the unknown inventor of Bitcoin, the first and still most important cryptocurrency, never intended to invent a currency. In late, in late 2008, Satoshi said he developed a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. His goal was to invent something many people failed to create before digital cash. The single most important part of Satoshi's invention was that he found a way to build a de decentralized digital cash system. In the 90s, there have been many attempts to create a digital money, but they all failed. After seeing all the centralized attempts fail, Satoshi tried to build a digital cash system without a central entity, like a peer-to-peer -peer network for file sharing. This decision became the birth of cryptocurrency. His major innovation was to achieve consensus without a central authority. Cryptocurrencies are a part of his solution, the part that made the solution thrilling, fascinating and helped it to roll over the world. So what, is, uh, what are benefits of Bitcoin? They don't have a central authority. They have protection from identity thieves. Information is more transparent. All Bitcoin transactions can be verified anytime in blockchain. Very low fees compared to banks. Less merchant risk. You can make payments anytime, anywhere from any of your tablets phones or computer. Rapid growth in acceptance of Bitcoin. So this is benefits which Bitcoin offer you. You can see on the screen uh, that there are lots and lots of different currencies, crypto cryptocurrencies, but leader is Bitcoin. Every day people create a new uh, cryptocurrencies. Uh, but today Bitcoin have um, uh, stays on the uh, been a leader of cryptocurrencies, and second after him is Ethereum, also rapidly growing currency. So let's have a look why banks so scared of Bitcoin. Due to concerns that the currency could be used for illegal purposes, such as a black market trading. Also, the lack of any government agency to lend credits to the cryptocurrencies can only free and multiply. More and more people prefer hold their money in Bitcoins, private banks and other financial institutions. Because lots of people today understand that bank system, financial institutes, is a simple pyramid where uh, owners of bank banks get profit and, to be honest, steal money from you. So every time when you go in a bank, you pay a fees to bank, to owner of the bank. Every transaction, every uh, every action that you do in the banks, you pay and pay fees. Interesting facts. Interesting turn of event in the acceptance of Bitcoin in educational industry was with the American University of Ohio hosting classes about Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies as a part of their program. 
Several colleges in America have ever even began to accept Bitcoin as a means of payment. The acceptance of Bitcoin in general has already led to a few companies considering a genuine investment opportunities in the currency, further fueling its journey to mainstream. And another interesting fact is that at November 2013 in America, police chef Tony Wong appeared before the commission to officially, re officially request that his salary be paid to him in Bitcoin. Commission accepted his request, and soon his example became a good motivation for other people and companies to pay salary, make any kind of payments in bitcoins. So, for example, today you can buy coffee, video games, even houses and apartments in some countries using bitcoins. Australia's first Bitcoin ATM launched at April 2014 inside Westfield in Sydney's CBD. So users can register an account on the ATM in just five minutes. The machine scans the government-issued photo ID, such as a driver's license, and uses a facial recognition technology to verify that their face matches the photo. So today in America is about 888 Bitcoins ATM, in Canada 187, in United Kingdom 69, and in Australia today is just 13 Bitcoin ATM. So where can you find in Australia these uh, Bitcoin ATMs? You can find them in Canberra, in Sydney, in Melbourne, Brisbane, Perth, Orchestra. And, uh, and um, news says that in the next uh, few years, um, different companies, banks would um, put in their um, shops, shopping centers, um, lots and lots of um, Bitcoin ATMs. So uh, please look on the screen and you, you can see in this picture uh, how from 2000 10 till the present days, Bitcoin growing rapidly. Harry to invest. Hi, he is the creator of that board, known for his accurate predictions in Bitcoin's price. He keeps his technology in a largely secret and sells the predictions with the website for big money. Believe it or not, but he predicts that Bitcoin will triple price of gold in next year. So it might cost up to 15,000 Australian dollars. Sounds good, isn't it? So now is a great chance to invest in Bitcoins and grow them at least on 30% every month in MMM, which I will tell you in the later slides. The so price of bitcoins grows rapidly. If in 2010 one bitcoin cost a few dollars, today one bitcoin cost about 3,000 Australian dollars. But what if you want to buy bitcoins but don't have enough money for it? I have a solution for you. MMM Australia gives you opportunity to grow bitcoins on 30% monthly. So what is MMM? MMM is a global social financial network which exists in so many countries across the world. MMM participants give help by transferring the money to each other. So there are no central authority. In the MMM you can provide help and get help from the same people like you and me. MMM is a peer-to-peer -peer exchange of them donations. This is a mutual aid community. MMM changing the world together for better. In MMM, uh, members trust each other, and MMM uh, offer you a free education. Let's have a look on MMM and numbers. Today, uh, MMM exists in two. Uh, excuse me. Today, MMM exists in 118 countries and uh, have uh, more than 234 million members across the world. MMM Australia have got a thousand of participants just in a few months after launch in our country. 
So in NMM, participants grow their bitcoins 30% every month, at least. If you still have any questions, please visit our website australianmmm.net and you could chat with our friendly online consultant. Also, you can visit the Facebook page MMM Australia and ask guiders or any active members to help you. Or you can find in YouTube thousands and thousands of videos MMM pays to see a positive experience of MMM participants. What, I, what are your dreams and how much like, you, you, uh, you, might dream about, you might dream about a nice beautiful house to buy. You might want to have a nice family holiday overseas. Or maybe you want to save for your retirement to enjoy your life when you retire. Or maybe you're saving money for education to improve your career. Or simply want to buy a new beautiful car. Or just to pay off your mortgage, which you're struggling to pay every month. So MMM is... Uh, you, um, members of MMM change your world to better, to better together and grow their money on 30% every month. Thank you very much for watching the webinar uh, and meet you in the next webinar which is going to be um, the best way to invest money in Australia. So follow our channel, um, look on the news on our Facebook page and meet you in the next webinar. Thank you and bye.